Hello everybody, welcome. Yasas, Hosh Geldenis, herzlich willkommen. Today I would like to tell you and explain you my journey and how I built divine science and yes, and why I also make English videos now. So because it's a gift from the German soul and spirit to the world. When I was a child, I tended to feel a lot and I was thinking people are lying to me, like with purpose, because I felt what they feel, but they were telling me something else. Well, when I got older, I, I understood that actually they, they weren't lying. They, there was kind of a disconnection from their emotions. Mm -hmm. And when I went to school, I loved going to school. I was at a, I'm lucky to tell that I was, I went to a very, very good school. And it was actually not so difficult for me to, uh, to go to school and to fulfill all the tasks. And that gave me kind of the self-esteem and also the freedom to do whatever I wanted to do in my free time. Mm, and also made it more, like made it clear uh, to me that, well, because I knew how to do this, but I felt or I saw there is something else which is not educated and that which is not educated is our, our, our emotions. Mm. So we educate the mind, but not uh, our emotions. Mm. But then I had friends or sisters, they were very emotional intelligence and their feeling, their sentiments were very much evolved. And they also helped me because of this emotional, evolve um, of those abilities being emotional that evolved uh, they supported me in different ways and uh, I used to have this intelligence also but as I also had the intellectual capacities I was not judged by school but those friends or sisters they they had a very hard time at school and they always thought they are stupid because they could not do what they were expected to do because in school you're actually only educating the mind which is fine so i'm not a person against not educating your mind because i think logical thinking and maths are very very important also some know some facts in history um, and other things, but there are two ways to learn things. And one goes more with the logical structure, which is our male part, and what the other goes more with the emotional structure, which is the female part, and it's also the it's men and women, like both exist in men and women, and both can educate both parts. Still I feel or I know more women than men having this and also I recognized well I loved learning languages and the way you you got languages teach taught in in the school is more by the logical structure so I actually used more my math mind to pass the exams but when I learned actually the language I did this more with how I feel also when uh, when I was talking German. So there's actually two parts, two ways of, of achieving the goal. Um, but we're only educating one of the goals. So. And this is one really primary motivation that made me create divine science. Because first of all, I want to make this emotional intelligence, the female knowledge um, 
I, I want to make people being aware of it and value it as well as the male knowledge because we now actually only value a lot of male knowledge. You know, we pay for products, we pay for some, for uh, if somebody did something, but the female knowledge is not, is working in a very different way. And I want to make it visible so it can be seen and it can be valued equally to the male. And it's, the thing is, it's, it's, it's wrong to think it's men and women. We have now in Germany, there are a lot of women in high positions, but they are not acting from the female knowledge. They had to become male in a very, I would also, it's, it's not the male, it's unethically. So there's a divine male and a divine female. But there's an unethical way to do business and it's not dependent on genders because both male and female have got shadow sides. So later on, I also want to talk about the female shadow. But today, because I, I try to make this a short video, those are the main aims that what I want to do with divine science to strengthen female knowledge, knowledge and to strengthen, to keep the divine knowledge we have in the German Geisteswissenschaft, Deutsche Idealismus, which goes back to the ancient Greek philosophy and which is a science which is spiritual science. So it's not natural science. So nowadays we think science is only natural science. It's what you see, what you can keep, what you can take with your visual eyes and with your hands, but there is a spiritual science and it was, there is, we have this in our, we had this in our culture and I want to keep this alive and help so it can grow because I think we need this in our societies for the transformational processes of in, in this time for our societies. So it is the divine male knowledge. For example, what I say with Plato, like the philosopher, he built an academy in Athens and he was teaching divine male knowledge. So this is also very important in divine science. It is not male is bad and female is good. Divine is good. So, and there is light and shadow in the male and the female. So we also want to educate those who are mature enough now to take in this knowledge to face their shadow side. So we talked a lot about the male shadow. So they are so much known. So I will focus a little bit more on the female shadow uh, because it is so unknown. Um, but the only way we can have a healthy relationships and a healthy society is if we really face the shadow and be in true of our divine soul's power. And this is why I created Divine Science to help those primary things alive and to keep up the philosophy because in the general university systems in Germany, even social science, they went on a very natural scientific way. So it's a lot about measuring statistics and so on. I'm not saying this is wrong, but it's, it is not all of the science. It is a very small part of science. Um, so we, I want to keep up the philosophy, the tradition um, of the philosopher, even also from our cultures, because I love Indian, I love Indian philosophy, I love all the different, the, the Mayas, the different cultures we have. Um, still we forgot, we have also this spiritual knowledge in our culture, and I want to connect it with the spiritual knowledge of the other cultures, combined with the spiritual science, um, and on the idea of Platon's Academy in Athens, but combined with the female knowledge to help humanity thrive and to, uh, to support this uh, transformation we're all going through 
at the moment. So thank you very much for listening and I hope to see you in the next videos and message me if you have questions, if you want to know something, if you feel whatever, contact me. I'm looking very forward to hearing from you. Thank you.